Hello YouTube, this is the GTM show, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess Let's Play, part 51. In the last part, we reached the Sacred Grove, and we were told to go look for the Master Sword. In this part, I hope to get through the Sacred Grove, but I'm not promising anything because this area is an absolute pain in the ass. Now, people might recognise this one, this is a song of time from, um, or Korea time. It's all in Majora's Mask. Middle, top, bottom. Middle, top, bottom. Bottom. Oh. Middle, top, bottom. Up, down. Middle, up, down. I'm sure trying what it actually does for us. Takes you back takes you back in time fifty years and all of, all of a sudden you're an embryo thinking, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> it could happen. Mm. It'd be a nice twist. Uh, actually no this isn't required. It summons this little twat. This little twat is Skull Kid! And um, he's our annoying piece of shit for the, for the next few videos. I hate this guy with a passion in this game. He's a pain in the ass in Majora's Mask. In Ocarina of Time he's almost worthless. He's almost worthless. Worse, I think it is. No, worthless. In Majora's Mask, he's actually the main villain. He's the, um, for a long time, he's the main villain. Okay, let me just try and explain this area. This area is one giant maze. Um, there is no map, so do yourself a favour and look at, look at your surroundings carefully and um, try and... Um, try not to get lost, basically. And try not to get lost. Um, what you gotta do is find Skull Kid a certain amount of times and eventually he shall take you to the sacred grove and you'll be able to get the Master Sword. Uh, later in the game you have to do it again. Yes, you have to do this twice, people. Twice! Before I get this straight, this, this guy who in a previous game very almost brought about the apocalypse and now we're entrusting him to, to guard what is arguably the strongest weapon in existence. Yeah, I've just torn his throat out, I'm pretty sure he won't. Oh boy. Every time you find him, he will most of the time open a new door to a new area for you. And um, there are rupees in this area and other goodies. I think there's even some heart pieces, but um, you can't really obtain these heart pieces until you actually um, become human again anyway. So don't worry too much about them now. Focus on finding this little twat and um, and get it done as quickly as possible because you do not want to be lost in here for two hours like I once was. It's just not fun. It's a nice little puzzle, I have to admit. It is reminiscent of the, um, of the Lost Woods in Ocarina of Time. But it's a lot more annoying than the Lost Woods in Ocarina of Time. At least in Ocarina of Time... All you had to do was um, listen to your TV carefully, and if you and go to the, the point that had the loudest music, it um, set you right. Whereas this, it's almost as if you wandered around aimlessly. Speaking of which, are you actually going to go anywhere? Um, and there isn't really anything in the guide that can actually um, tell me where it is. It's aha. He, um, pretty Apart from the fact that he plays a bloody huge trumpet and you can hear him... Yeah, that, that's the only clue he gets. He said kill the fuckers! Um, sometimes when you're nearby these marionettes will spawn and you'll be able to find him a lot easier. What's that tune he's playing? This tune is from the Lost Woods. In a yeah, time. I say he's actually he is actually playing the theme tune that's playing in the background. Yeah. 
Howard. Yeah. Um, when you're in this area, you should find an infinite supply of marionettes. There is no way of stopping them until you stop Skull Kid. These things aren't really that tough, but they are relentless, so... Kill them, then move on. Quickly. They do spawn hearts like there's no tomorrow, and they do get out the old rupee. So they're not really that bad. Like most animals, yeah. Ah, he's up there. Oh my, let me just see if I can work this out. <laughs> that almost scared the hell out of me then. Seriously, can you imagine waking up and hey, one more and one of those things being looking at your face? Ugh. Creepy! I, 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 I wouldn't think creepy, I'd think what the fuck was I drinking last night? <laughs> and then you boys scream in terror. Right, my calculation... Why, that... why are you in my bed kind of thing? <laughs> yes! Fo fo followed by a slow trickle of memory and then a huge amount Surprise, of lament. And then you probably eat your own hand. No, that's, that's Rimmer. No. <laughs> I just think, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> did I get drunk or did I get drunk? No, you didn't get drunk. You were... Uh, well, um... You were very ill last night. <laughs> ill? <laughs> all right, okay. Yeah, we, we've all been there. Go out, go oh, out on the... Oh, wait a minute. Well, it looks like I've I've managed to get in here pretty quickly this time. Uh oh, we've made him angry. Oh dear. Oh diddums. Is the little kid angry? Well, I've got the a good medicine for that, and you and your friends. It's called throat rip out. It's all the rain these days. And I can have it at a low, low price of jackal. Anyway, like, like, like I was saying, we've all, we've all been there. Go out, go out drinking one night. Wake up the following morning next to some thing. You think, what the hell? Actually, funny enough, I've actually never been there. I've, ne I've actually never been drunk. I'm pretty sure there are thousands of people on the planet who would end, who would, who would gladly give. Their worldly goods to make a statement like that, but I have to confess, if I woke up next to a fucking marionette doll, I don't know. The first thing I do is check myself for splinters in awkward places. It's like, oh bloody hell, mate! This conversation you've reached a new low. This conversation is getting weird, Nick. We can do something else. <laughs> uh, this box, this board is very important later on. We'll have to smash it with some bombs later on. Kill them! You sometimes can't attack um, Skull Kid unless you've killed all his um, buddies. Why? Because he likes to tease you and torture you and be playful. He enjoys making you suffer. He is a sadist, I think. So, beat the shit out of him, Lane. You like pain? Try wearing a corset. I couldn't mm. really think of any other line there. Oh yeah, because you wear corsets all the time, don't you? No, I don't. But he probably does. Bye. Oh, bye. I was thinking you could do an evil laugh then. This oh. guy did was wear a mask and tried to drop the moon on the world, remember? Yeah, that wasn't really, wasn't really him, it was just a mask. Well, he mostly did it out of, did it out of depression. He, all his friends left him. Do you actually have any friends? Ever? Yeah. Oh. Well, um, this looks like a temple. Although, this place looks lo a lot better in Ocarina of Time. It's a bit... Knackered. It's not exactly um, real estate here. Yes, it is. Real estate is just somewhere where you build something. Okay, it's not exactly a... Uh, Prime real estate, I think, you're, like, the word you're looking for. Right, let's use the song of time to open it. Oh, 
How much time are you still him? We're on ten minutes seven. It only took me ten minutes to get for the bloody skull kid puzzle. Yeah, so I don't know what you were bitching about. It's the second one that's the most hardest. Because we're not going to do this dungeon now. We're, gonna, we're just here to get the sword. Right, you two. Dark. Time for one of the most annoying puzzles in Zelda history. This thing is an absolute pain in the ass. The way this puzzle works, you need to hit these two knights back on their squares. Um, I've actually got this puzzle written down in my in the back we of my head. We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can, can you enter the true sacred grove. Yeah. This is a very annoying puzzle. Basically, the idea is to get these two guards back to their golden platforms on the right and left hand side. Um, when I was younger, when I first played this game, I, it's Jump to your left! I've already got it. It's left. The combination of this puzzle is left. Down. Right. Right. Up. If you talk to the guys, you can actually just reset the puzzle, so don't worry about that. Um, left. Up. If you do get very confused, probably the best idea is to reset the puzzle. Up. Left. Down. Down. Right, up, up. Yeah. No, it's just up. Not two ups, just one up, Adam. Yeah, well done. There we go. Um, I have to say, that's a pretty decent security system. It, well, not really. If anyone with half a brain cell can do it. Go now to the sacred place, beast. It's, um... We, well, it's probably the most complicated puzzle we've found so far. We yield passage to the sacred grove. Right. Time to meet an old friend who we haven't even met before unless you've played Skyward Sword. Hello, Faye. I won't be seeing you this adventure, but I will be holding you. And there she is. The Blade of Evil's Bane. Crafted a very, very long time ago. This blade has the power to, to repel any sort of evil, especially the magic that is, that is held by the Triforce of Power. And it looks like that's where um, Zant's powers are coming from. Oh, Joy. So either he's got his hands on the Triforce, or he knows Ganondorf. He can't got his hands on the Triforce, because you've got you've got one piece of it. No, well, he's got his hands on the Triforce of Power in some way. Yeah, that sets it somehow. Yeah. Anyway, we are a new blade in hand. The sword accepted you as its master. It doesn't accept anyone else! His name's Link! He wears green! He's bound to pick up the damn thing at some point! Uh, this sword, it does twice the damage as the... Um, as the saw that we used to use. It's also slightly longer and also slightly wider. So you have a lot larger range. This thing is the embodiment of evil magic that Zant cast on you. Okay. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Yeah. Make a nice necklace. You wouldn't want this round your neck. Why? 
It would turn you into a wolf. It's not supposed to be near It turned him into a wolf because it was embedded in his skull. Good point. I'm pretty sure if you put it next to his face, it would turn into a wolf as well. If you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. Uh, I think Zan just wanted to embed it into his skull because that's what he, that's what he likes. Well, he was trying to kill him, perhaps. Yes. Uh, fair enough. So you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best if we just leave it here, eh? Stop looking at me like that. Well, on the other hand, if we kept it, you'll be able to transform into the beast anytime you wanted. And with that sword, you could easily turn back again. Yeah, since that was kind enough to give us give this to us, we should be thankful and use it use it all we can. Look at Minda's face, a little evil smile. She's so happy right now. <laughs> Just want to let you know, Minda, I was all in favour of leaving you in a ditch. If you need, need it, just call me. Uh, I want to keep a low profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when, when you're human. But I, but I can change you whenever. Uh, you can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp uh, whenever you want by switching into wolf form. Yep, uh, our um, horse is now pretty much useless. Good. Give lots of names to play with when. Hey, but listen, Link, I've got a little favour to ask. No, I'm not like that. <laughs> oh, I could. Uh, I, I could say something here, but I'm not going to do. Would you mind coming Damn with Damn you, new grounds! Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last pot potential link to Zant. And look, at, I love how he's looking, is it? What? Why the hell are you so close to me? Go away! <laughs> oh god. I just had a horrible thought. Someone's already thought he made, made uh, countless fan picks.